In this Divi quick tip, I'll be showing you how to create a blog post template using the Divi Builder and Divi Library. In the days following the Divi 2.4 release, the team at Elegant Themes created two blog posts showing the amazing potential of the updated Divi Builder for bloggers. The first post focused on the amazing variety of visually stunning blog posts that can now be created with a Divi Builder. The second showed how global modules can be used to create a consistent design across all of your blog post titles. But many readers wanted to know, is it possible to use those same new features to create custom blog post templates so that you don't have to design each new builder powered blog post from the ground up? Thankfully, the answer is yes, and here's how. First, you're going to want to gather and organize your non-Divi related resources. You'll need a lorem ipsum text generator for quick and easy sample text. Uh, you're also going to need large, high quality sample images and possibly some videos. I highly recommend using unsplash.com for your images and of course YouTube for your video links. And finally, some editorial design inspiration. Uh, so you might try googling something along the lines of editorial blog design and seeing if you can find a few examples that you can take your design cues from. Next, from within your WordPress admin, navigate to Posts, Add New. Type in a sample post title and then switch to the Divi Builder. If you've already followed Nick's Global Post Titles tutorial, then you will want to start by adding the module, that module, um, in right at the top of the post. After that, use your design references and sample content to start mocking up an ideal standard blog post. I've already done this in another tab, so I'll jump over there so you can see what I came up with. As you can see, I've created a long multi-section blog post with a lot of different modules. I've tried to label them accordingly so that when I use this template in the future, I'll know what each element is at a glance. On the front end, you can see the styling I've created using nothing but the Divi Builder section and module settings. At the top here, I have my global blog post title. Directly below that, you can see I've used the Monarch plugin to provide color-coordinated social sharing options as well. but that's a Monarch setting, not a post builder setting. Uh, then the post itself begins. I have a, a slightly larger, more pronounced first paragraph to make my post opening stand out. I created an editor's note, body text, section headings, section subheadings, and in general, any element that I thought I would want or need in my average blog post in the future. I've got pull quotes, inline video, which could just as easily be inline image as well a full width quote, and even an area here at the very bottom for listing my image credits. Now that I've got everything looking the way I want it to, I need to head back to the post editor and save this to the Divi library. So what I want to do now is click on the save to library option up here at the top of the Divi builder. This will allow me to save the whole blog post layout I've just created in the same way that you can save page layouts with the uh, Divi page builder. Now when I go to create a new blog post, all I have to do is go to the load from library option and choose the blog post template I've just created. As you can see, I now have a fully formatted Divi Builder blog post template to start from. Since all of my individual module settings were also saved as part of the layout, this template also works as an overall style guide that will help me keep a consistent look and feel across all of my blog posts. And yours will do the same for you. Well, that's it for this video. I'm Nathan B. Weller, and this has been an Elegant Themes Divi Quick Tip.